Welcome back to exclusive mode. Don't be a fond of day. Today's episode is going to be on how to cut a fitted cord dress using this fabric. I'm busy for ya to cut it out. So this particular dress I'm talking about, it has an half cut and it has a band, a thick band at the waist. So I'm using this plain. This is a silk fabric for the band. So I'm going to make. I'm going to put a stay on it to make it stand. Then before putting it. Uh, to the band so the first cutting is going to be the half cut and the half cut i'm talking about is from the shoulder to under the bust from the shoulder to under the bust and that is 14 inches so i'll be cutting out 14 inches here for the half cut so this is after cutting out 14 inches for the half cut then i'm going to this is 14 inches in two places you can see then i'm going to fold it together like this no this is into two first this is another into two making into four you no know, into four as usual for both back and front but here yeah, i'll be leaving my um Overlapping allowance because it has an overlap at the front, it's an overlap um, at the half cut. So I'm trying to set it to make it equal. After the folding, now I'm going to take the measurement of four inches here. So let me just say the four inches is for the distance of two busts for the overlapping part to go in. That is going to be the dart measurement. So the, that measurement of four inches. So of four inches, you can see. You can see now. This is four inches. We left four inches here. Then this is going to be the front, and this is going to be the back. So from here now, I'm going to leave one inch for the um, zip allowance for the back. One inch. You can see now you can see the one inch so the next thing now to take is the length of the um the length of the sleeve from here we are starting the measurements from here to the length you want to the desired length of sleeve you can see so the length of my sleeve here i'm going to make use of 23 with the same allowance 23 inches with the same allowance so with the same allowance of one inch to give me 24 inches so from this 25 inches i'm going to pull it down so you can see now this is the line 24 inches from here i'm going to make use of one inch of shoulder slant you can see this is one inch of shoulder slant then from here i'm going to slant it off to the neckline yeah then after then i can now take the wideness of the sleeve the wideness of the sleeve here it depends on how you want it to be from here so i'm taking the wideness of the sleeve from here to let me see i'm using um 10 inches 10 inches so with the same amount of one inch making 11 inches but this was that there does not have um bust measurement or waist measurement because at the waistline here it has a small pleat around the waist with the half cut to the band so i'm just going to you know when you know the actual measurement the actual measurement the actual waist measurement is 34 inches then 34 inches in four places is going to give us 8.5 inches so let me say this is my um 8.5 inches 8.5 inches you can see the 8.5 inches then the little pleat so i'm starting from here this is where the 8.5 inches is you can see so the with the pleat i'm going to add i'm going to add um 10 inches to it 10 inches so then from here i'm going to slant my hand to the 10 inches 
so all this area now is now the mini 10 in as in the 10 inches we had it is for the plate then i cannot cut it out like this you can see now after cutting it out this way you're going to cut out the shoulder stunt so the shoulder stunt so i'm starting from here So the shoulder stunt, the next thing that I mean uh, is to cut out the neckline. So to cut out the neckline, I'm going to start my neckline from here. So the wideness of the neckline, it mustn't be too wide. So I'm making it of 2.5 inches. This is 2.5 inches, you can see. Then the deepness of the neck is going to be 2 inches. 2 inches. Then I'm going to connect them together. So you can see now. So this is now the neckline for the back. You can see the, where I start it from. The next thing to take now is the neckline of the front. So you have to um, straight this line up for just for you to know the limit of the front and back. You know, and this is the this is the back measurement. You know, this is where the back. Uh, this is the uh half um this is the zip allowance you know so from here is where the neck is going to start from this was quite easy you can also make use of a ruler to make it not nice just to make it straight from the neckline here you know this is zip allowance one inch of zip allowance. this is where the neck is going to start from so for me i'm going to make a slant line up By the time I cut it out, they're going to see it properly. So you can see now. Then this is the back and front. So you have to divide it into two as well. This is the back. You have to divide this into two as well. So you can see now. So you cannot take this out. This is how you are going to face it like this. I'm going to take the measurement of the four inches from here to here. So you can see now, this is the four inches. This is the neckline for the front. Then you're going to take the back. And place it on it. You can see you can see the back this is the back with zip allowance and that is the front so you cannot see now so this is after joining it or any excess that you mean here you can also reduce it with that excess since they are not you could just shape it out it's an excess to the since you've already had it a seam allowance to it so it's not going to affect the sleeve so you're going to um, trim out the excess about um, sleeves. So when you have excess there. So we're done with the half coat. The next thing to cut now is the um, damp part. So this is for the band. I'm making use of band four inches. This is my silk for the band. So since I'm going to double the band, I'm going to make use of um, nine inches. Nine inches since after 49 inches into two you get 4.5 inches so the half inch is going for the same allowance so this is for the band so this band is going to take the actual waist measurement the waist measurement of 34 inches so with the same allowance making 36 inches so i'm going to make it 36 since it's 34 the same allowance of two inches that's zip allowance to make it 36 inches so this is my 36 inches is i'm going to cut it out so this is the band i'm going to put a gum stay that we fold this that we had um we attach our half cut here and damp to make a complete dress 
this is the mini fabric i'll be folding it into four so to cut out the damp part after folding this into four you can see equally then i'm going to take out uh, the half cut for me the half cut of 16 inches the 16 inches for the half cut is my 16 inches here you can see then the length of the dress it's going to be to be 56 inches with the same allowance of two inches making 58 inches you can see now then the whole wideness of the whole wideness now we're going to use it for the pleat and the number part here i'm going to take a measurement of 10 inches this is my 10 inches you can see with the same allowance of one inch same allowance of one inch you can see it now so from the down from the upper part here from the upper part here now i'm going to make a core line to the down part here like this this is going to be like a slant line to the full so you can see the way i make my my line so by the time I cut it out, you're going to see it properly. So from here, I'm going to cut it out. So like this, you can see that the nice thing is to cuff your hand at this area. You can see the way the shape is going. Let's plant it to the 10 inches with the same amount of one inch so you can see you can see the shape now you can see how the shape is so i'm going to take one house i'm going to divide the front into two because it's going to have a slit at the front it's of two ways you can make a high low here just load this area for uh confidence where you're working and you can also slit it um the way i want to do it now so you can make an eye low with it you can make a slit with it just for you to be able to work properly so this is for the front now i'm just going to make a slit at this front some essence they're just to be able to work properly then at the back here i'm also going to make a slit a, a slit a small slit just for me to be able to insert my zip so a small slit from the waist to 10 inches so i'm going to pencil it down to this area just like a dart but i don't want to have to slit at both front and back But assuming we are making use of an eye low at the front, so that means we can have a straight slit down to the um, full length at the back. So we're done with the down part. So the next thing now is to go and um, put everything together, then show you the finishing. Welcome back. Here yeah, the finished work so far. This is the overlap core. A bayard dress you can see this is the half court with an overlapping you can see it then this is the band and this is the core aspect of the dress you can see the side you can see the side so it has a slit at the front so you can wear a leg is yet to cover the leg so this is how it is you can see how simple this is now this is the pleat area you know we make an excess at the way at the waist measurement here just to make a pleat around the band and this is what i've done here you can see the pleat now you can see the pleat and for the um core aspect you know the it has a wide waist and we use um and i make use of that wideness to make a pleat around the waist so this is how it is now you can see how beautiful it turns to so for the joining the first thing i did is the join of the two shoulders you can see you can see the shoulder then i tape the sleeve area you can see the sleeve then i bias the neckline after then the shoulder is going to direct you out you're going to join this area 
by biasing the I use this particular fabric, the Duchess fabric, for the neckline to tape the neckline. You can see how it is. So then I make a pleat around the band. Then for the damp one too, I make a pleat around the band. So if you're, if you're new to my channel and you're in the right place to be, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also on your notification bell so that whenever I upload another tutorial like this, you'll be notified. See my next class. Assalamualaikum.